into frame, put this thing out of pocket. So I'm like putting this in my underwear. Nah, you, you can, oh shit, you can see it, low key. All right, what's going on guys? All right, what's going on guys? Ray here, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great. And today we have a brand new video, finally. Not a vlog, an actual video. As promised in the past vlog, I was going to do a vintage pickups video and today we will be doing that. I believe the last vintage pickups video was about a year ago. And uh, I kind of wanted to follow up every two, three months, but I just really haven't been picking up too much vintage. Um, so I'm just kind of like combining them into one video, I guess a year later, which is super late, but we are finally here. I'm like blanking. This is my, I guess, return to actual videos. So I'm kind of like all over the place, but yeah, you can hear my dog like purring. If you guys are new to the channel, the way I kind of work everything is that I have like B-roll footage with me wearing clothes and then I do like a voiceover behind just to have, I guess, more of like a concise, uh, cohesive um, narration going on versus like off the fly comments just describing uh, each garment. So we'll kind of stick to that formula. I don't want to switch it up too much. Maybe for some items that I've shown in a previous video such as the boots i'll kind of talk about it quick quick but the rest of the stuff these are pretty brand new so we'll do the b-roll footage anyways talking too much let's get to the video i'm like forgetting it is let's get to the video let's go okay so quickly uh quickly talking about one of the items that i did showcase in the previous video this is just like military boots i'm not sure the exact year that these were made but they're like really heavy duty military boots i forgot the exact model number of them but uh, i'll make sure to put them down below and uh, one thing that i did is that when i got them i went to the cobbler got the bottoms kind of not vibram but just like a lug bottom for more grip as the original bottoms were kind of just like really really flat and slippery I didn't um, recondition the leather whatsoever. I kind of wanted to keep it as is, and it's very beat up and just really worn. But I really enjoyed this way. So this is one of the items in the vintage video, and we'll now jump to B-roll footage. Kicking off the video with our only accessory, right here we simply have the Star Trek The Next Generation Snapback. First and foremost, this is just your classic snapback with the Star Trek fully embroidered logo on the front. When it comes to 90s snapback, the prime element I look for is the shape. If you were ever to come across like starter caps, in my opinion, they have the best shapes. And I've yet to find a, I guess, current hat that fits like that. So this one does have such a beautiful fit to it, as well as just, you know, the classic Star Trek logo. Besides that, there's nothing really much to say about this. Just your classic black snap. Let's keep it moving. Tops now, and right here we have a short sleeve crew neck. This kind of style of sweatshirt is something that I'm really into as of late. I really fancy the shape and just the way it's cut. Doing a bit of research on this particular model, it was you know prevalent in the 50s to like maybe the 80s. In the 90s, people kind of steered away from this. It was like more of like a muscle crew neck. So yeah, absolutely beautiful and fits like a glove. It also does feature the Wranglin sleeves. And finally, this is one of the pieces that was featured in the previous previous vlog. I've been wearing it a ton. You know, I kind of get some looks when I wear it because it's not your conventional crew neck, but nonetheless, beautiful piece. Let's keep it moving. All right, so continuing on to something a little bit more traditional, right here we have the SJ Tilden High School crew neck with the, the Wrangling cut. I didn't really notice until I started editing that pretty much all the pieces that I'm gonna show in this video are navy. It's not intentional. I just happened to buy a lot of navy stuff. But anyways, Let's talk about this piece. So this is just your classic high school crew neck with the Wranglin sleeves, navy color, has such a beautiful fit to it. It's not like overly baggy nor too skinny. That's the kind of style I've been enjoying as of late. I don't really fancy the overly baggy crew necks where it just looks like you're floating inside. I'd rather have something a little bit more fitted and you know really work with the proportions of the bottom. So, this is a simple, you know, crew neck. It's nothing too much to talk about, but here you go. SJ Tilden, high school. Let's keep it moving. Continuing on right here, we got the classic French workwear jackets. 
I believe as of now, I think I have six or seven different variations of the French workwear jackets and kind of like different washes and details. But this one really caught my eye just because of the super overly washed color and it kind of almost looks like a purple in certain like lighting scenarios. It features the triple pocket design, two on the bottom and one on the chest as always. The material on this piece is incredibly lightweight which is perfect for the current summer season and kind of fits a little bit more like an overshirt rather than a jacket. And I just love French workwear jackets. They fit incredibly well in my closet. I can wear them in various scenarios if I want to dress it up a little bit or have it more as like a cozy loungewear kind of piece. Um, it does kind of hit all those brackets, hence the reason why I have multiple in my closet. So. This one will be staying in the collection for a long time. Really love the wash, just the fit, and just how easy it is to style. Let's keep it moving. All right, so for our next piece right here, we have the VFW Varsity Jacket. So this is simply your classic Varsity. And quickly pointing out a few elements that I like is first and foremost, just the color. It's kind of like a mix between Royal and Navy. It has that deep blue. Secondly would have to be the chest patch. It has like that classic United States bald eagle on it with a bunch of little things around it. Uh, chain stitching detail on the bottom with the VFW. And finally it would have to be the tape that kind of surrounds both arms almost looking like a track pan tape but in this case it's around the jacket in addition like every single item i showed in this video it does also feature the wrangling sleeves the material itself is comprised of a thick wool which results in me not being able to wear it ever since i got it however wore it one day sweating absolute bullets but i had to do it fits beautifully and it looks really really nice so yeah Simple classic varsity jacket. This will be worn heavily in the fall time, but for now, here we go. Let's keep it moving. Continuing on to our very last top, right here we do have the classic FFA jacket. As you guys can see, first of all, just the absolute beautiful wash to it. Sun dried to perfection. Chain stitch detail on the chest with the Dale Hill, which I believe is the name of the person. And this one, I was told, is from the 1970s. Um, you know, one element that I can say kind of validates that is the Talon zippers. I know that the more recent versions, even the other variant that I have does feature the YKK. And Talon is a old American zipper company, uh, which is no longer in business. Besides that, details remain exactly the same. Beautiful chain stitching on the back with the big FFA patch. And finally, the jacket fits a little bit small on me, so I can't fully zip it, and it kind of has like a cropped fit. I honestly don't mind as the wash is immaculate, and all the other FFA jackets that I've seen online don't really have this look or to it. You know, it's more of like the darker navies versus this kind of like sun-dried blue, uh, which is honestly my favorite thing about it. So yeah, FFA, you guys already know. Let's keep it moving. Okay, let's talk bottoms. First of all, I'm not sure if this item falls into the vintage category or it's just a dirty pair of pants. Right here we have the vintage, well, calling it vintage. Well, Carhartt ripstop pants. Y'all then scooped up all the double knees off the market and are upcharging it. So you guys are forcing me to kind of find a different type of Carhartt. And right here, I would say this is currently my favorite type of Carhartt, which is the ripstops. When it comes to the material, I would say this is more of a cotton ripstop versus the canvas of the work pants. And these fit incredibly well, it has more of like a straight leg to it. It also does have dual cargo pockets on the side. And as far as prices go for like, I guess like the used market, I scooped pretty much all the pairs that I have at the moment for less than 30 bucks. I'm unsure if the prices are gonna fluctuate on these pants as right now it's incredibly hard to find double knees and just like the oversaturation of them which resulted in me kind of looking for an alternative, uh, which I'm very happy about these. These, you know, are pretty much my everydays at this point, and I was able to scoop a lot for like very, very cheap. So in this showcase right now, the pair that I'm currently wearing is the kind of brownish tone, uh, but I'm gonna add some footage right now of the green variant. It's almost the same kind of shade, but just slightly off. Um, and yeah, so I'm the type of person, if I like something, I kind of stock on the same item multiple times. 
Uh, so yeah, I have just a ton of these laying around the crib and kind of like different shades of greens and browns, which I don't mind. So this is the Ripstar pair from Carhartt. Let's go on to our next item. Tuning on to our next item, right here we have a pair of army fatigues in the classic olive green color. The material consists of 100% lightweight cotton. It also features the multiple pocket design and the fit of it, it's incredibly relaxed, so it's perfect for the season's weather. These are like my most worn pant of the summer. I would wear them for like two weeks straight, throw them in the washing. As soon as they come out, wear them back again. And you know, they pair well with so many different type of footwear, such as boots and sneakers. So I'm the type of person in the summertime, I just don't want to dress because it's incredibly hot. I usually revert to like a vintage t-shirt, bucket hat, some slides, cargos, you know, kind of just really simplistic clothes. And I really like to enjoy in the fall time when, you know, the weather kind of kicks up. But for now, way too hot. New York summers are nasty. Nope. Keeping it simple, cargos. Let's keep it moving. All right, so continuing on to our last pant. Right here, we have a pair of Dickies painters in the white colorway. I don't know for you guys, but for me, when it comes to white bottoms, it's just like something that I really kind of stay away from, nor do I have any interest in it. But I wanted to kind of test it out, see if I can maybe fit it within my outfits. And I was fortunate enough to find a pair of painter pants. So it's kind of like that in between I'm still testing the white pants, but I'm keeping elements that I like, which is the paint splatters. This is simply just the classic Dickies work pant with the straight fit. There's no like double knees or things going on on the pant. It's just like your very standard uh, Dickies pant. As I mentioned earlier, it does have paint splatter details. It kind of has like slight distressings on the knee and some dirt marks all around. So these pants have actually been put to work versus me, the imposter, not having done a day of labor and wearing these proudly. I, I, anyways, anyways, we're not gonna get into that. Age old question is, am I gonna get into white pants after wearing these and after liking them? No, I think I'm good. I'm pretty happy with these. They fit beautifully, kind of just your classic straight fit. No funny business around. Let's keep it moving. Ending the video, let's quickly talk about two pair of Converse's I recently acquired. Very stoked about both. Firstly, let's begin with the American flag variant. So this version of the Converse high top sneaker is something that I've been looking for for a very, very long time and recently acquired them kind of scavenged the internet in its entirety and was unable to find my size, but went to the thrift store a couple days ago and was kind of like sitting there waiting for me. So I went ahead and quickly scooped that with the quickness and couldn't be happier. When it comes to details, this is simply your classic Converse high top with the American flag print kind of all over the shoe. It doesn't really change the formula too much when it comes to other details. It's kind of like simple, keeps it classic. And yeah, I was just really looking for that specific print, which I am super happy to have. As you can see, the shoes are beat. Uh, so they will be worn as skateboards slash kind of just like everyday walking shoes. I don't really have a desire to refurbish the shoes, so I'll definitely keep them as is. Continuing on to our second pair of Converse's, these are the Made in Japan's. If we were to look at the shoe, it doesn't really have anything different compared to the regular Converse's, but all kind of lies within the construction and the higher grade materials that the Made in Japan's have versus the regular Converse's. One thing that I've noticed is that both pairs do not have the 70s outsole, which is my preferred bottoms, but you know, it's not really an inconvenience as I was really just looking for the American flag design. And it's cool to finally own a pair of Made in Japan Converse's. All right, so these were all my recent vintage pickups. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's jump over to our outro. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm like low-key forgetting all of my kind of what is, what do we call that? My YouTube mannerisms. I have like a set um, of like things that I do in my videos, but I'm like kind of blanking out. But if you guys enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe. If it's, no, I, didn't, I never said if it's your first time here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got some other videos coming up. Kind of like really quick videos that I can kind of knock out within the day, uh, such as like footwear reviews and things like that. I want to get back to that as well as like pickups, just like an actual pickups video. I haven't done that in also a year plus. 
Uh, so we'll be doing that. And uh, um, also follow your boy on Instagram at Mia. Post a lot of tip pics, kind of like my mood board. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, let me know down in the comments below, as well as kind of like, if you just want to talk on Instagram, feel free to hit me up. Besides that, I am out. It is so good to be back doing videos. I've been, the way that like everything works is that I'm like super busy for a set amount of time and then it kind of just kind of chills out. Um, so we'll get back into posting more videos for you guys and I just genuinely enjoy posting. So I'll be doing that. Anyways, I'm out of here. Gotta edit this video. See you guys next time. Peace.